I was in the middle of doing some design research for my own designs, my own business, and I found some great examples of how to think outside the box with Spark that I wanted to share with you guys today. <laughs> What's up guys, my name is Nate Hibbert and this is the Wingman University where I try to teach you how to quickly and efficiently make designs for your print on demand businesses. I release episodes like this every week so if you don't mind hitting that subscribe button you can check the little bell notification uh, to get notified anytime we do release a new episode which again is every week. Today before we jump into some over the shoulder uh, I just want to address yes we are still talking about Easter I know it's just around the corner uh, but that is one of the beauties of print on demand is that we can still uh, put things up and get them listed live in just a couple of minutes so uh, as long as uh, you know the holiday is still coming up I'm willing to put in some work and really just testing to see like uh, can I go back to kind of my roots and getting things to sell the same day that I put them up and with all this crazy COVID stuff going on I've definitely got the time on my hands uh, to work on some projects like this so uh, that's what I was doing today and as I was doing my research like I said at the beginning uh, I found a, a design that really inspired me to think outside of the box with Spark and so that's what I want to show and the over the shoulder. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up um, Pinterest actually where I was doing this research and then we'll start designing inside of Adobe Spark. So this is the design that I saw that sparked kind of this whole idea, the reason I'm doing this video um, is this funny little design that says bunny Saurus, and it's this picture of a T-Rex with bunny ears and an Easter basket. Uh, now normally I would open up something like Photoshop or Illustrator even uh, to do something like this where I would you know create an outline of a T-Rex. I would uh, add a little basket there and put some bunny ears on him. It's not a crazy hard design to do. Uh, it's all silhouette, so it's all one color. So, you know, you got that going for you uh, and just fitting in the words bunny saurus like that can all be done inside of photoshop and illustrator and definitely something inside of my wheelhouse now what i haven't done a ton of is creating designs like this inside of spark and this one was just funny enough and uh, unique enough of an idea for me to take this inspiration from this and try to do this myself uh, just with the icons built straight into spark so uh, that's what i'm going to try to do i've already got my document all set up we're starting on a black background uh, i was testing out some easter palette so we might come back to that um, but let's go ahead and jump into the icons and I was looking again we're, we're making a lot of Easter designs so I had Easter basket pulled up um, but let's type in T-Rex to see if we can get an actual dinosaur uh, to come up that we could use so I'm going to be looking for something that is still bold clean and simple so let's just start clicking on a few of these uh, and see um, this one doesn't look too bad for whatever reason I really like when animals or whatever's heads are on the right hand side as well uh, so I usually flip that um, but I just don't like the shape of this as far as like how long uh, of a design this is so I'm gonna delete that out and then we can go back into our icons tab up here uh, and again just looking for t-rexes and see what comes up uh, this one is a little bit longer I think I like the placement of this um, but he looks a little goofy and uh, I, I don't know <laughs> about this one uh, i'm just not a huge fan of his shape here and the easter basket like it would be a very top heavy design uh, and kind of over to the right and like i said i've been really working on balance as a designer uh, so already looking at the shape um, there may be some ways that we can save it but i'm going to go ahead and look for maybe one more i'm not going to try and waste all of you guys this time today um, but i'm looking for something that could work with this idea uh, and i think this one's cartoony enough maybe that's what i didn't like about the last one it was like a little bit too realistic um, this one's kind of like cute and uh, you know a little bit more cartoony so let's go ahead and make him pretty big um, as that's what I'm gonna be adding my other icons onto so this is the part of thinking outside the box and let me go ahead and split screen my two screens that I've got here I'll just drag this over so we can still see both of them uh, but I have enough room to work over here and so I want to add these bunny ears and an Easter basket to this so I'm just gonna go right back into my icons I don't have to draw these out um, I kind of just have to finagle and pick the right ones that I think will be uh, that will work together and not look too odd so I'm gonna type in bunny ears and we're gonna be using the same ones that I've used for a lot of these designs uh, that's kind of what I had in mind and no this isn't gonna look like a thousand percent perfect but um, that's why I think I liked this dinosaur is because he's already kind of goofy uh, and that's the design that we're making this isn't like a super serious design uh, we're going to make something goofy and so I think that there could be an audience out here uh, that would just think that this guy is like cute enough especially with that saying uh, bunny source which we would definitely want to trademark uh, and I will trademark but I'm not gonna do 
do that on this video. We use Tangent Test. There will be a link in the description uh, if you guys are interested in doing trademark research with a tool that we use um, because that has saved us a lot of time. Uh, but the last thing I'm looking for here is an Easter basket. And I'm going to be looking for one that's kind of similar. Um, I like some of the designs of these ones that are uh, basically all lines, um, but I don't think that really fit with the rest of the artwork that we have here. So as this loads in and I drag it down, uh, you can see like that kind of fits in his hands and we could resize it and make it work. Um, but it's just the fact that this is like all lines and these are both like pretty bold uh, and filled in designs. And I'm actually going to move this guy around a little bit. Uh, sorry, my computer is lagging a little bit today. Uh, it's pretty hot out. I don't know if that has anything to do with it. I'm just grateful uh, that the weather is turned and it's nice here in Atlanta again. So I'm going to be looking for an Easter basket uh, that is a little bit more just simple and filled in, uh, just like this one. So let's see if we can't make this fit in his hands uh, just to be kind of funny. And I might actually add uh, a little bit of tilt to this as well, a little bit of rotation or angle, um, just to add to kind of the humor of what's going on here and for it to stick out a little bit more. Uh, so I just want to, I'm using my arrow keys to bump it in a position that I think looks good. Um, so you can still kind of see that he's holding it in his hands and that actually worked out really well. Uh, you know, it, again, it's not perfect. It's not meant to be, you know, something that you're going to like put up on your wall and uh, ooh and ah over, but just getting this idea across, I think is really funny. Uh, so now we want to find a way to add bunny source. Uh, this guy has put it in the body. I don't think that there's enough room really to fit it in here. Um, so I can shift click all of these things and I'm going to move these all to the left uh, just a little bit and see if I can't put uh, text here uh, over on the right hand side. Just because of how awkward of a shape this is though I'm not really uh, again thinking about the balance I think that that would kind of make an awkward shirt to wear so I'm actually just had an idea what if we make this a little bit bigger Maybe there's another basket we could use. I'm thinking about putting the name on the basket just as, uh, you know, that's something that parents do for kids, right? On Easter, you put your name on the basket. And so if we put Bunny Source there, uh, that might be kind of funny. So this one's even more bold, uh, clean and simple. I think it just removed that line there. Yeah, that's, I think, going to be a little bit better for this idea. And I don't know if this will work out perfectly, but... Let's go ahead and see what we can do. So using the arrow keys again to make sure that it lines up with the hands. Um, and then I'm going to add some text in here. I go into my text tool, adding text, uh, and then I'm gonna type in bunny saurus. And I have not trademark checked this, but I definitely will uh, if this is a design that I like and definitely suggest that's something you guys do every time you are taking inspiration uh, from somebody else or from another uh, results page or whatever. Uh, so we're going to go here to shape, remove the background on here, and I could just use a pretty basic font here. Um, I don't have to do anything too crazy, so I'm probably going to stick with uh, one of my favorite three, and I'm probably honestly just going to use the BN regular, uh, which I use basically for every design that I do in Spark, just because I love how bold, clean, and simple uh, it is, and it works with a lot of different design styles. So I'm going to click on this, scroll up to the top, And here it is, BN regular, click on that. And then we're gonna just resize that and see if we can't fit it on the basket. Now, it's not gonna be uh, as pronounced as this guy's uh, design, uh, but I kind of like that it's gonna just be a little subtle thing. Uh, I think this character on its own is funny and could probably sell a few shirts, but by adding this nameplate here um, to him in a little bit of a subtle way that still works with the design, um, I just think that's you know more comical, uh, at least to me. Like the thought of this T-Rex having bunny ears and an Easter basket and then all also, like his mom put his name on his Easter basket. Uh, I just think it's funny. So that's what we're going to do here. I'm going to rotate this to see if we can't get it to line up. That might be a little bit too far. We'll bring it back. And it does actually snap in place, which is really nice if I can get it to snap in place. There we go. 
and then I'm gonna make this just a little bit smaller. Uh, so it really is gonna be subtle. It's not gonna be something that you're probably gonna see from far away. Uh, maybe not even in the thumbnail on Amazon when they go to look for this shirt or whatever platform um, that we list this particular shirt on. Um, but it will be funny when they're wearing it around and someone sees that it says Bunny Saurus here um, on their little basket. At least that's my hope that they'll think it's funny. So I'm gonna click again all of these by holding at while holding shift. Uh, and just move this guy into the area that I want him to be, more in the center uh, of the shirt. And so we're gonna do that using the arrow keys, just bump him down a little bit. I want him close to the top, but not touching the top. Uh, that way our file doesn't get distorted or anything like that. Um, and that's kind of the idea. Now I know these colors aren't great. Uh, so we're gonna go to the color palette. Uh, I'm gonna try and find the one that I've been using for a lot of these Easter designs. Uh, you could definitely do this one in all white and then just having a black um, text, but I think having this one be colorful because it's already a pretty uh, playful little design. Uh, let's see if we can't find one that has some like Eastery colors. Uh, I think I've been liking this one that's a little bit more beige. I think that's the same pink that's in there already. Uh, but there's so many possibilities here. I'm not going to spend all day looking at these colors. And let's try this one. I like this layout. So. Uh, that's probably fine. A dark blue. Uh, again, blue is the color of the year. A light green kind of representing uh, Easter as well. Uh, and then this would be on either a white or black shirt. So this is actually something to think about as well. I usually go back and change this to black. So if I know black is the most popular, uh, it might not be for Easter. Maybe like a lighter blue might be for Easter. But you want to think about what type of shirt you'd be selling on it. So just because that looked good on this orange, it uh, doesn't actually look all that great on the blue. So I will go back to uh, my color palette. And just keep looking here's one with some like pinks um, and purples in here and some reds i've really been liking yellow for some of the easter shirts i think people are responding well to uh, mostly yellow designs um, so i'm gonna just click a few more times but you guys get the idea hopefully uh, and then we can change this background i don't like it on orange but i might like it on black um, and i do like that on a black black with purple i think that works uh, and again it's just a comical little guy here his proportions all weird so the bunny ears being that size kind of work the easter basket being a little bigger like that all works just because of the uh, comical look that this guy has so I hope you think that was interesting. That was my attempt to show you guys how you can think outside the box and not just have to do uh, super basic things on Spark. You can be pretty creative and come up with uh, some ways to get around the creativity uh, limitations that you have on yourself inside of a tool like Spark um, by just, again, thinking outside the box, using icons to work together like that. Um, so looking up things like, instead of looking up T-Rex with bunny ears, you can look up a T-Rex and bunny ears and kind of put them together. Uh, it will take some clicking around. I've used the tool enough and I've used those icons enough uh, to kind of know which ones are going to work together. Uh, so it's not going to be like right out the bat, you just click two and smash them together, it'll work perfectly. Uh, but if you take the time and kind of work with it, know the design style that you're going after, you can definitely do some more creative things with it. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you like to see uh, more videos like this where I'm just designing inside of Spark, you can click here. And if you'd like to suggest things that you'd like to see me design in future, you can do that in the comments below. Uh, and if you'd like to get started with Spark, if you're looking for, at this tool and you're like, wow, this is awesome. He can do all this on a web browser. Uh, definitely click the link in the description as we have a course that will teach you uh, from the beginning how to use Spark and how to get comfortable with the tool. Uh, but until next time, I'll see you guys around.